You were led here because hidden treasures are about to be revealed. God is about to do something so great in your life. And it is found in this book of Isaiah chapter 45 from verse 2. I'm going to read. Please follow with me so you don't miss out. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches in secret places. That thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Hallelujah. This is so powerful. Let me take it again. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness. So there are hidden treasures in darkness that God can give you. And hidden riches in secret places. You see, God is the owner of everything. He owns all the gold, all the diamonds, every precious thing. So he knows where they are hidden. You can so much found, find favor with God that he exposes to you where the secret treasures are. You, you may say, think that men don't get rich overnight. It happens. God can expose secret treasures to you. There have been many testimonies where people, God just leads people to go buy a property. And when they buy it, they discover that treasures are hidden under. When you move with God, it's it's an, really an unexplainable life of continuous prosperity because he begins to expose to you hidden riches in secret places. He says that thou mayest know that I, the Lord which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. For Jacob, my servant, sake, I and Israel, mine elect, I have even called thee by thy name. I have so named thee, that though thou hast not known me. So God is set out to bless somebody so big. And you mustn't be so perfect in him just be because of the fact that you are striving to know him and you believe in him. Even if you don't know him so well, he's out to bless you great. I want you to believe this. Praise God. And he continues by reminding Israel here about the safety that is in him. He says, I am the Lord and there is none else. There is no God besides me. Praise God. Praise God. He says, I girded thee, though thou hast not known me. That they may know, know from the rising of the sun and from the west that there is none beside me. I am the Lord and there is none else. Hallelujah. God is the Lord and there is none else. He wants to expose to you hidden treasures from darkness. He wants to bless you beyond measures. If you are ready, if you are willing to. I love the scripture that says, if you're willing and obedient, you eat of the good of the land. It's one of the most beautiful scriptures I have seen. You can be willing and obedient, even though you may not know. You see, you can trust somebody even when you don't know them. It's possible. If you're willing and obedient, you eat of the good of the land. We've been enjoying of God's goodness and mercies for a long time, even without knowing him so well. But he's saying that even, even with that, without us knowing him so well, he can so bless us. This is not to encourage that you shouldn't know God. But it is a word of the Lord to tell you that God is able to expose to you hidden treasures in secret places. You may be going through a financial drought right now. You're, you're going through a um, debt situation. You're stuck somewhere. God knows exactly where there is a hidden riches for you. He knows all the secret places where abundance is kept. And he's always willing and available to be of help to you, to help your life, to help your destiny. I want to make a prayer for you now. Father, thank you for everyone who's watching. I pray that you make this word come alive in their lives. That all the hidden treasures in secret places and darkness, you begin to expose to them. All for the glory of your name. In Jesus' name, amen. That was powerful. If you watched for the first time, please be sure to click on the subscribe button. I would like to lead you 
on to discover your life assignment and also to manifest it. God bless you. Shalom.